this problem, we're going to find the critical points of this function. Remember, the critical points are take the derivative and set it equal to 0. And you're setting the derivative equal to 0, not the x-coordinate. Uh, it's possible you have an x-coordinate of 0, but you're setting the derivative or the slope of the function to be 0. We do have to take a derivative here. This is a product. Also, there's going to be a chain rule in here. So it's a bit tricky to take this derivative. So I'm just going to write the original, but writing it a little bit bigger. OK, so we have u times v. Uh, we take the derivative. It's u prime v plus u v prime. That is u v prime, like that. OK, x squared derivative, easy, 2x. Copy the second one. times the first is just x squared. Now we are taking the derivative of v. Easier said than done. The derivative of e to any function is e to that uh, function. So it's e to the same thing. 4x squared plus 10x plus 10. Uh, but the chain rule says we now have to multiply by the derivative of the function uh, up here. So that is 4x squared derivative is 8x to the first. Derivative of 10x is 10. Derivative of any constant is 0. So we're left with this. Uh, we are setting, and this is f prime. Let's label that. That's f prime. Uh, I do want this to equal 0. So now I'm setting it. Set f prime equals 0. So got that 0 equals all this stuff. I'm going to do a little algebra. If you notice, there's an x. There's an x squared in the second term, but uh, I'm going to factor one of those x's out. And this exponential part is in common as well. So we have x times e to the 4x squared plus 10x plus 10 times what is left is a 2. Uh, almost everything factored out of here except the 2. Uh, the second term, what's left, we have the x. One of those x squareds uh, came out front in the factoring, and we still have the 8x plus 10. OK, let's clean this up. Combine like terms. We have 8x squared plus 10x plus 2 times x times e to the 4x squared plus 10x plus 10. OK. So why did I put it in this form? Well, I'm about to use the zero product property. We have three things multiplied together, and that product equals 0, which means individually each of them could be 0. So this is a zero product property. I just abbreviated ZPP. All right, easy one. First product, x could be 0. Next up, this exponential could be 0. Or this whole uh, quadratic could be 0. OK, so first one, x equals 0, already done. That's one solution. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it in a circle here. Uh, the second right here, uh, well, an exponential function will never equal 0. If you graph the y equals e to the x function, the graph looks like this. It gets close to 0. The y value gets close to 0, but the y value never equals 0. So there's no solution for this middle one. All right, third one, this is a quadratic. And we could factor a 2 out. Uh, it leaves us with 4x squared plus 5x plus 1. Multiply both sides by a half. 
or you can use zero product property again, either two equals zero, it doesn't, or this equals zero. So this could equal zero, we just need to figure out the right x values. We could get lucky in factor, we could also use quadratic formula, we could also complete the square. I'm feeling lucky and maybe factoring might work. Everything has to be positive because our uh, sum is positive and the product is positive. All right, these are the two ways I would try it. It's either going to be an x, uh, 4x, or a 2x, 2x. I have to multiply and make 1, so I'm really not left with many choices. So these are the only ones that would make sense. Now we just have to see when the inside-outside terms add up to 5. If we look at the bottom one, the inside-outside terms are both 2x, which would add to 4x, but we need 5x. The top one, Inside is uh, 1x, outside is 4x. Adam, you get 5x, so that is how it factors. Still equals 0, so 0 product property. We have 4x plus 1 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0, so x is negative 1, or 4x negative 1, x is negative 1 over 4. All right, so we have, oops, that was a bad circling. Wow. All right, negative one, negative one-fourth, and zero. Let's reveal the answer. Negative one, negative one-fourth, and zero.